so I'm so excited to do this video right now. You don't even understand. Needless to say, I absolutely 100% love these products. Highly recommend it and they get a super thumbs up from me. And these are the new Ruby Kisses Lip Lacquers. And they're absolutely gorgeous and they are now available online at beautyonlinesupply.com and I'll leave a link below so you can check them out and I'm going to do lip swatches for you so you can see them in full action and determine if you want them but right now I'm telling you you need them in your life like I love doing reviews for products that I absolutely love and that's what my the majority of my reviews will be, will be reviews for products that I love because I want you guys to know about them and rush out and get them. And these are absolutely phenomenal. So let's just get right into the review. So let's take a look at the packaging. These are clear tubes and the product inside will reveal the actual color of the product. It says lip lacquer there with a nice little heart design and then it has the shade color on the bottom here. The actual applicator is a flat doe foot applicator which actually works great for applying the product but if you're looking for more precision use a lip brush with these even though I had no issues applying the product with this um, flat top applicator. In fact my lip swatches are going to be me using actually applying these products with that flat applicator. So it's a typical lip gloss tube and it's really actually convenient and the applicator is actually a good one. So currently these products are available online at beautyonlinesupply.com and they're $3.99 each, yes, $3.99 each for 0.3 fluid ounces or 9 milliliters so you get the typical size lip gloss or lip product and they're $3.99, yes, I'm going to repeat that again, $3.99 for this amazing product. They're also going to be available wherever Ruby Kisses cosmetics are sold so if you have a drugstore or beauty supply store that carries Ruby Kisses, then look out for these. But I, your best bet would be to get these online right now. So there are quite a few colors of this lip product to choose from. You have nude shades to pinks to bright orange, reds, um, a vampy tone, even pops of blue and yellow, and they're absolutely all gorgeous. So you have a variety of colors to choose from, and I'm going to show you the colors swatched on my hand right now. And this is a swatch of all the colors that I have, and this is just one swipe. I want you to see the pigmentation from just one swipe of this wand across my hand so you can see you have full opaque color from the majority of these shades. The only shade that may need a cup, a, some layering um, would be the yellow shade which actually works out in its favor because you would probably want to mix that with another color. And the nude shade is, um, it's not fully opaque in one swipe but it gives you nice coverage in one swipe. So you might even want to stay at that one coat but if you want to vamp it up, intensify it, then definitely add another layer. But these colors are intense, they're pigmented, they're creamy, they're glossy, they're amazing. So now I'm going to go into the swatches on my lips and the color description. So first up we have shade number 2 which is Naked Nude and it's a gorgeous pinky peach nude shade with golden sheen to it that looks absolutely gorgeous. It's a great nude shade and I built it up to two layers so you can see the full coverage of it but in one layer it comes off a little bit more subtle and it definitely would flatter a lot of skin tones. It's far too early in the year to talk about vampy fall shades, but oh my god, this one is gorgeous. It's number three, Midnight Plum Black, which is a great description because this is such a deep, rich, vampy plum shade. It has a plummy undertone. There's a little brown, a little wine, a little purple tinge to it, and it's rich and dark. It's like a blackened plum shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's opaque in one coat. It actually makes my lips look larger than they are, which is weird with a dark color, but oh my god, this is everything for the fall and winter season when it's cold and you want to pull out the vamp. And you can even wear it any time during the year just to give that more intense vampy, oh I'm all that kind of look. It's absolutely gorgeous and yeah, it's a definite must-have as well. 
Next up is a very exciting shade. This is shade number four, and this is Purple Berry, which is a perfect description for this color because that is exactly what it is. It's a purple berry tone. It definitely reads berry. There's a lot of red in it, so it's going to read more on the violet side of purple rather than a blue-based purple and it's absolutely gorgeous it's opaque in one coat you don't need to layer this up to get full opaque color at all it has rich pigmentation it's absolutely gorgeous and I love this color and I think it will be great actually for the fall months but it's also a great color for um, the summer months and spring months as well and you can use this over other lip colors to give it a darker more vampy look and I just think this is one of the must-have colors so next up is number five, True Blood, and this is such a beautiful blood red color. It's absolutely gorgeous. You don't even understand. It's one of those deep reds that look great on the majority of skin tones from super light to super dark. This color will be very flattering. On lighter skin, pale pale skin, it will look a little bit more vampy, but it's such a snow white red shade it's so gorgeous i absolutely love this and again it's opaque in one coat you don't have to build this up it's rich it's pigmented it's glossy it's amazing i absolutely think this is one of the must have shades in the collection Next up we have Ladylike Future which is shade number 7 and this is a bright bold berry pink shade which is absolutely gorgeous. It's highly pigmented and it goes on fully opaque in one go and this is absolutely gorgeous. It's a more berry tone than the upcoming shade which is more of a fuchsia shade to me with a more purpley undertone. This one has a strong berry undertone and I think this one is glorious for spring and summertime. This shade is Lively Hot Pink and it's number 8 and this is a gorgeous vibrant fuchsia pink shade that has a purple undertone and it's absolutely gorgeous. You do need to layer this to get full opaque color but with one layer you get a nice sheer coat that's a little bit more subtle to wear but I think this is a great summer and spring shade. So this shade is one of my favorite shades. It's number 10 and it's Orange Coral. And it's this bright, bold orange lip that reads really true orange. It's not too yellow, it's not too red. It's actually a true orange color that is still so wearable. It's a vibrant, bold lip, but it's still very wearable because it doesn't clash with the yellow undertones in my skin. And it shouldn't clash too much with pinky undertones either because it's such a true orange color. I think this is a gorgeous shade and it's fully opaque in one swipe. This shade is number 11 intense yellow and as you can see it's definitely a yellow lipstick and it's not a fully opaque yellow lipstick it's actually still a bit sheer and I think this is great for layering over other colors to make it a little bit more yellow based so if you have a color and you want to kind of change up the tone a bit make it a little bit more yellow toned then go ahead and mix this with it but I wouldn't necessarily wear this alone unless you're big bird. And last up is shade number 12. This is Aruba Blue and blue lips are in this year. They're in this season. So go for it if you're into those bold lips. You're okay with wearing a very unique color. You're definitely going to get looks and comments about this lip color. But this is a gorgeous blue shade. Again, opaque in one coat. No problems. And it's a medium toned blue. It's not a deep navy blue, but you can... Put a liner with this and it will look absolutely gorgeous. I love this blue shade and it does make your teeth look a little bit whiter. So if you're bold enough, use this on its own. If you want to maybe add a little bit of a blue undertone to a red or another lip color, then go for it. You can mix this color as well. It's just absolutely gorgeous, but you know, it's not for the tame of heart. So very quickly, these are lip lacquers which give you the full coverage of a lipstick with the ultra shine of a lip gloss. So they're very glossy, they're highly pigmented, they're a very opaque liquid lipstick kind of gloss hybrid product. They're absolutely phenomenal and they give intense pigmentation with one coat and I will say that is true for all but two of the shades. I have the yellow shade and the nude shade here that needed a bit more of a double coat to get full pigmentation for the nude shade and then the yellow was still a little sheer 
and I don't think anybody would be wearing yellow lipstick anyway so you'd be using this for mixing so the sheerness is actually a benefit of this color so other than that all the other shades have full pigmentation in one go one coat you get full opacity of color they're highly pigmented full coverage and you do get shine from them they're not chalky they're not flat they're not matte but they're not this high wet shine finish they're just this medium shine finish for the majority of the shades some of the shades are a little bit more shiny and and lacquer like than others but i think overall they give you a nice wearable shine that doesn't look too wet or too sticky they're also very creamy very silky when they glide onto your lips they glide on really smoothly and they don't emphasize any dry areas like i have a little peeling going on just from the swatching and i had no issues with this like clinging to the flakes and showing up and looking really bad so they definitely are awesome for me i had no bleeding around my lip lines but if you have problems with products bleeding especially like a liquid kind of lipstick then you might want to go ahead and use a liner with these but i had no bleeding with these and i absolutely love that now as far as how they feel on the lips they're lightweight they don't feel heavy and sticky at all there is a slight tack to them like if you press press your lips together you're gonna feel a little bit of the product on your lips but they are not sticky and they don't feel like your hair would stick to them like a lot of lip glosses that are long wearing they um, get that from being super sticky so these products actually aren't very sticky at all they feel very comfortable to wear and they are long lasting I've worn a couple of these shades for six seven eight hours without any issues I've had drinks I eat and it's fine like uh, there will be a little wear on the inner part of my mouth but overall they stay in place and they they wear comfortably they don't wear off and look weird um, throughout wear like they wear off nicely and I only got stain in from the pink shade and the purpley red shades so the red shades the purpley shades they will give a little bit of stain and nothing crazy i have removed them with my makeup wipe there is no intense staining left behind like a lip stain can so don't be afraid to wear them and be afraid of that long lasting effect they don't leave a stain on your lips the next day so overall i think these are amazing lip products you have to get your hands on them any way you can and they are cheap and worth more than they're actually sold for i would pay a lot more for these products they're absolutely amazing they're gonna be in stores i am not sure when once i get that detail i'll leave it in the description box so you can know exactly when these are going to be in store but they're going to be sold wherever ruby kisses cosmetics are sold so if you have a drugstore or a beauty supply store that stocks ruby kisses then they will have these products and there's a full range of colors there are quite a few more colors that I didn't get in my hands. There's a nude and yeah, but I think I have the majority of the shades. But check online, see if there are other shades available. And I'll leave the link again to the online store that you can pick these up. They're $3.99 each, so that's a great bargain. So definitely go out, grab these. If you already have them, let me know how you feel about them. I am just glad that I was able to get my hands on these because amazing. These are definitely a hit. They are a great product for the spring and for the summer months. So um, yeah, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely hit thumbs up if you like these kinds of quick review videos. And let me know what you think about these colors because they're absolutely...